Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three rectangles uh, put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of uh, this uh, green uh, rectangle is uh, 24 centimeters square, whereas the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 12 centimeters square. And moreover, this uh, vertical uh, distance on the left hand side is uh, 8 centimeters, whereas the vertical distance on the right hand side is uh, 6 uh, centimeter and furthermore uh, this horizontal uh, distance for this blue rectangle is uh, 9 centimeter and uh, 8 uh, centimeter as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle. I'm going to extend uh, this side, uh, this vertical line uh, all the way over here. And likewise uh, for this uh, green rectangle, I'm going to extend this uh, vertical line uh, over here as well. And as a result, this uh, blue rectangle has been divided into three parts. This rectangle, this individual rectangle, and this uh, individual rectangle as well. And let's focus on this uh, middle rectangle. We can see that this uh, side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. And now let's assume that this uh, side length of this uh, rectangle is uh, x uh, units. And we know that this whole horizontal distance, this one is eight, and this uh, one is uh, nine. That means one more uh, than uh, this one. So therefore, uh, this uh, horizontal uh, distance has got to be this uh, x and then uh, plus uh, 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, shaded rectangle whose side lengths are uh, 6 uh, and uh, x. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. So therefore, the area of this uh, shaded rectangle uh, is going to be equal to let me write down area equal to 6 uh, times uh, x and we know that the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 12 so therefore the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, part is going to be 6x minus uh, 12 and here we can see 6 is in common so i can factor out 6 uh, times uh, x uh, minus uh, Two. So therefore, the area of uh, this uh, tiny rectangle is going to be 6 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, shaded rectangle on the left hand side whose uh, side lengths are 8 uh, and uh, x plus 1. So therefore, we are going to apply this very same uh, formula. So our area of this uh, left hand uh, side uh, rectangle is going to be 8 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 1 and now let's go ahead and uh, distribute so that is going to give us uh, 8x uh, plus uh, 8 and we know that the area of this uh, green rectangle is uh, 24 so therefore the area of this uh, blue shaded part of this uh, rectangle is going to be we're going to subtract uh, 24 from this one and now let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So we're going to have 8x, 8 minus 24 is going to give us negative 16. And here we can see 8 is in common. So I can factor out 8 times x minus 2. So therefore this area turns out to be 8 times x minus 2. And now let's recall another uh, crucial fact. If we got these uh, two rectangles where the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uppercase A and the area of this uh, blue rectangle is uh, uppercase B and both of these uh, rectangles have the same uh, height whereas the side length uh, for this one is uh, lowercase A and the side length for this one is uh, lowercase uh, then we can write the ratio of their areas is going to be equal to the ratio of their respective side lengths. 
So therefore, the ratio of these uh, two uh, rectangles uh, is going to be, let me write down, uh, 8 times x uh, minus 2 divided by 6 uh, times uh, x uh, minus 2. And here we can see this x minus 2 and x minus 2 is gone and 8 divided by 6 uh, could be reduced to 4 divided by 3. So therefore we can see that uh, this uh, side length turns out to be 4 centimeter and this side length uh, is uh, 3 centimeter. If this side length is 4 uh, then this side length has got to be 4 centimeter as well. And now let's focus on this uh, green rectangle whose uh, area is 24 and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 4. So therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, has got to be 6 by using this uh, formula because uh, 6 times 4 is going to give us uh, 24. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is 8 and this uh, side length is uh, 6. So therefore uh, this side length is going to be 8 minus 6 is going to give us 2 centimeter. And now we can see that this uh, side length is uh, 2. So therefore the side length uh, of this blue rectangle is going to be 2 centimeter as well. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, blue rectangle. We know that this whole uh, side length uh, a part is 9 centimeter and this uh, remaining side length uh, is uh, 3 centimeter. So therefore uh, total length uh, of this uh, blue rectangle is going to be 9 plus 3 is going to give us 12 centimeter and furthermore our width is uh, 2. Let me go ahead and write down our width is uh, 2 centimeter. And now we are going to use this uh, area of rectangle formula once again. So therefore the area of uh, this uh, blue shaded rectangle is going to be simply, I'm going to multiply these uh, side lengths, 12 times 2. Let me go ahead and write down 12 times 2. That is going to give us uh, 24 centimeter square. So thus after all these uh, calculations the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle uh, turns out to be 24 uh, centimeter square and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.